And that is why Cardano, I feel, is probably going to become the biggest cryptocurrency in the world. I think it's going to become more than a cryptocurrency. I think it's going to become the backbone of a new digital nation. Cardano founder Charles Hoskinson just made a bold prediction on the future of ADA. Cardano's Hoskinson foresees ADA surpassing Bitcoin, surpassing Ethereum, becoming a new nation digitally in a sense. And if each of these things were to happen, what does that mean for ADA's price? So as the Bitcoin price has been chopsolidating these last few years, what has Cardano achieved? And you know what? Enormous amount of stuff shipped while working on governance, which is the most complicated thing I think any cryptocurrency can do because basically you're building an on-chain government of a digital nation with 4 million people in more than 100 countries. Kind of a fun thing. Hydra shipped. Mithril shipped. Node 8.x shipped. All kinds of updates shipped. People are building. We're number one for development activity right now amongst all the cryptocurrencies. TVL grew by over 200% in a downturn. How about that? Transaction volume's up. We're at 8 million native assets. And Masari is finally writing nice stuff about us. How about that? That's what an ecosystem looks like. It's not the sudden spikes and sexy fun bull markets and you know cool stuff in 2021 or 2017 it's the continuous endless relentless pursuit of perfection japanese call it kodawari the relentless pursuit of perfection that's what we do so cardano has clearly been achieving can it surpass Ethereum? Well, it's known as an Ethereum killer. And if Cardano's market cap were to hit what Ethereum's market cap hit back in 2021, when Ethereum hit its all time high, that would bring it up to 570 billion compared where it is today at 9 billion, 9.13, which would be a multiple of about 62, 62 times bigger. And that would bring the ADA price to about $16.12 per ADA if Cardano just hits Ethereum. But Charles thinks it's gonna be a lot bigger. He's projecting Cardano surpasses Bitcoin. This was his exact statement. It's about a three minute clip, stick with it. But what united us and kept us strong and the true people, the true philo philosophers of it, was this idea that we need to have a better way of trusting each other and working with each other. We need to have a better way of building institutions that aren't just don't be evil, but can't be evil. That was the uniting thread throughout the whole set. And Cardano is leading the entire cryptocurrency industry in this. Bitcoin and Ethereum, the other two big guys, they've recused themselves. They've said we don't want to do on-chain governance. In the case of Bitcoin, it's anarchy. Great, they can't change, which means they have to live with design decisions made by a single person more than 13 years ago and hope to God it's still relevant 10 years from now, 20 years from now, 30 years from now. There's no way to change it. Well, good luck. As for Ethereum, their founder said, on-chain governance is a fool's errand. You can't do it. You can't achieve it. Okay. So how do you deal with the fact that when you have 100 million, 200 million, 300 million, 400 million users, you have to represent them, their needs, their voice, their particular use cases? How the hell do you build a product backlog without just making yourself king for life? Is that decentralized? Is that what we signed up for, having a beneficent leader who lives on the mountaintop? How are we any better than what we assert that we're going to replace? The only way we're going to get it done is to build an on-chain government. And why they don't do it is they're scared. Because they don't know how. There's trust issues. It's hard. How do you maintain the consistency we've all come to love and admire and enjoy? 2,100 days plus the Cardano network has been running 24 hours a day, seven days a week by you. The stake pool operators. Never down. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Microsoft has gone down since then. Google has gone down for 20 minutes. Amazon has gone down. Think about that. Trillion dollar massive corporations with hundreds of thousands of people 
the best engineers, mountains of money, and they own the fucking hardware. We don't, just a bunch of people come together, never met each other, are running this protocol, attacked every single day. If there is a flaw in it, there's a $10 billion bounty to break it, and it's still running. That's something that's very special, and it should never be discounted, it should never be trivialized, and we can never allow other people in the cryptocurrency space to just take that for granted. It's a sacred thing. Yet somehow, some way, we're going to not only preserve and protect that, but enhance it when every single decision is now made in dozens of countries throughout the world. It's a pretty crazy idea, and that's why people are scared of decentralized governance because they view it as something that takes away. But I've never believed that because I always believe in the best in people. I believe in the best in you, and I think if you give people a chance to rise up and show you who they are and what they can do, they'll do amazing things. So that's our challenge, and that is why Cardano, I feel, is probably going to become the biggest cryptocurrency in the world. I think it's going to become more than a cryptocurrency. I think it's going to become the backbone of a new digital nation, a new society, a place where we can finally begin to trust each other again, where we move from don't be evil to can't be evil, a place where we do our voting, a place where our money lives, a place where our digital life lives in every dimension and aspect of it. So if Cardano, the network, can surpass Bitcoin's market cap when Bitcoin reached its all-time high a few years ago at 69,000, that would be a multiple of 142 times larger. Again, here's the math if you want to check it out. Cardano's market cap around 9 billion compared to 1.3 trillion. And if slash when that would happen, that puts the price of one ADA around $36.92. Well, what about if Cardano, the network, becomes like a new digital nation? And more important than what if that happens is why would that happen? Why does the world need this? Because we deserve that. It's 2023. We do. We don't need to live in economic systems, political systems that were designed in the 18th century and 19th century. I'm sorry, the world's moved on. Apparently women are equals. <laughs> Go figure. Apparently people should be equal to each other. People should, each and every person, regardless of who they're born to, their last name, the geography that they come from, should be the same. But you know what, we say it, we put it in documents, but the people who wrote it didn't mean it, even in the founding of the United States. They always had in the back of their mind, well, there's always an exception to the rule, because that's what humans do. It's great for us and our friends and our family, but that guy over there, I don't know that guy, can't take care of him. And that's why you can't trust people with things like your rights. That's why you can't trust institutions to always be moral and virtuous. And that's the core of what we build as a system, is a different way of doing things where you don't have to trust. There's something transcendent about it. We have this in life, it's called physics. No matter where you're born, no matter where you live, no matter how rich you are, gravity applies to you the exact same fucking way. You can't go and buy a gravity certificate, okay? So it's about time we create an artificial laws of physics, a social physics, and that's what blockchain is about. It's to guarantee that our God-given rights are exactly the same regardless of who we are, where we come from, our particular beliefs and opinions, and a society should be built on these foundations. And that's why crypto will never die, and that's why we must build a decentralized government. So if Cardano can become that, a new digital global governance government, what does that do to price? This one was sort of harder to calculate where I got 46 trillion. Well, I just looked up what is the market cap of the US and it sort of took me to the equity markets. The US equity markets are the largest in the world and continue to be among the deepest, most liquid and most efficient, representing 42.5% 
of the 108.6 trillion global equity market cap in 2023, or 42% of that would put the US equities market around 46.2 trillion. So not even global, but if 50 years from now, 100 years from now, Cardano network can become the size of the US equity market, that would be around 46 trillion. That would be over 5,000 times bigger compared to where we are today. And although this sort of growth is almost unimaginable, maybe it happens in 50 years, 100 years, maybe it never happens. But if it does, that puts the price of one ADA at over $1,309. For me, I personally believe in a multi-chain future. I think we'll see a small handful, not the over 10,000 coins we have today, but a small handful of cryptos truly make it in the end.